Just got back on and uh, it's gale force out there. It's really terrible. I've lost the cover to my hatch, not the hatch, yeah, the escape hatch at the front. That's blown away. I'm in a quite exposed area here, so it is a bit nasty. And there's no way in a million years you can move a boat in this. And I just wonder what it must be like for people to see, because if they're on a boat, they'd be in a lot of trouble right now. Anyway, I've got to warm up, dry out, my hands are frozen. And that shop, oh, the food's so expensive, it really is. So we ain't going anywhere today, there's no, there's no chance of it. It's really, 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 really nasty. Well, it's a goodbye from Potter Hyam. Time to move. It looks like a boat has come loose. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait till we get closer. I'm going to go in and have a look. Might so windy last night, might have blown off its moorings. Oh no, it's tied on. Right, we are at a place called Ranworth, which is one of my favourite places and it's very, very popular in the summer because right behind the camera there is a pub, rather good one too. Uh, we had a lovely trip up here, very, very cold, and I was really amazed how many boats I saw out, especially sailing boats. I don't recall seeing so many boats out this time of year, so that's good. I think that's a Pegasus. So anyway, I think we're going to stay here the night because for some strange reason I'm getting um, mobile data, which is strange. And I'm going to go up to the church later on and film that place because you can go right up the town. I really love it. But that's it, donging in the background now. So, round with it is for tonight. Yeah, goose. I'm off that grass, man. Now here is a strange coincidence, if you like. You got three YouTubers in one state on the Norfolk Broads. You got me, obviously. You got Broads Ambition. Where the captain blogs on there, I don't know. And you got the Corsican as well. What's the chances of that? So, sadly, I've just had a collision in the boat. Quite a nasty one too. There's a lot of flooding at the moment, the water's very, very high. And I just came to go under the bridge and I couldn't get under. 
and as you can see you've got all this water rushing through here and when I came into more where the boat is now the current took the boat and I put me straight into the the mooring heading and it's nearly punched a hole in the side of the boat so I'll go around now and show you There you can see it, well you should be able to see it just here That was a close one that, that's nearly knocked a hole in the side of the boat It's taken the paint clean off um, Yeah, it looks worse than it is, it's just, it's just a scab but The ironic thing was, I actually came up here to get some epoxy And I'm definitely going to need it now Well, that was really bloody annoying Right, well, we got the epoxy, worked out a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I was going to get West System, which is about 90 quid, but I found this at Norfolk Marine for £40, so well chuffed with that. Uh, we can't get under the bridge, it's 5.75 feet, it's New Year's Eve, uh, well I think it is, either today or tomorrow, uh, so I can't go anywhere, so I must just park off and sit out, sit out for a couple of days and then I can patch the boat up. So Happy New Year folks, and uh, all the best. <laughs>